right? You're trying to see how many times does this go into this. So let's set it up like a long division problem. What I have here is I've got x minus 1 is dividing into 4x squared minus 2x plus 3. Okay, so you're with me so far? So what we do here is we say how many times does x go into this first term 4x squared? And there's a lot of different ways to do this. You can find your favorite way. You could say, well, what's 4x squared divided by x? Well, that's going to be 4x. And you might be wondering, why did I put it here? I'm just lining the x's up, OK? Another way to do it, and this is how I actually do it, I say to myself, hmm, what times x gives me 4x squared? OK, because what I want to do when I subtract, I want this first term to cancel out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to distribute the 4x. OK, so that's going to be 4x squared minus 4x. And then what we're going to do is we're going to subtract, OK? But what a lot of students like to do is subtraction is really like adding the opposite. So if I change these signs to the opposite and just add straight down, that oftentimes is a lot easier. You can see these are canceling. We get 2x plus 3. So I'm just adding straight down. OK, now what I'm trying to do is say what times x is 2x. Or you could say what's 2x divided by x? Well, 2x divided by x is 2. And what I do is I distribute that 2 to both these terms. So that's going to be 2x minus 2. Now I subtract, but what I like to do is change the signs to the opposite and add. Those cancel, and we're left with 5. Now you can see that 5 is a, a constant. It's actually called degree 0. This is degree 1. See, first degree, first power. This degree is lower than this degree, which means that this is our remainder. Now what do we do with the remainder? We put the remainder over the divisor, which in this case is what? x minus 1. And that's our final answer. OK, it's just kind of like if you said, how many times does 6 go into 20? Three times, remainder 2. Now, what do you do with the 2? You say 3 and 2, 6, and you can reduce that down. You put the remainder over the divisor. Let's go to the second example. Second example, same idea. We have a little bit more challenging, though, I should say. We've got 3x minus 1 is going into 6x squared minus 3x plus 9. OK, so you're with me so far? So. How many times is 3x going to 6x squared? Or you could say, what's 6x squared divided by 3x? Or you can do it my way, which is to uh, basically just say, what times 3x is 6x squared? And that's going to be 2x. So if I distribute the 2x, I get 6x squared. You always want to match that first term. So when you subtract, they cancel out. 2x times negative 1 is negative 2x. And then you can subtract, but it's easier to change the signs to the opposite and just add. Same thing. We're not doing anything different. We're just subtraction is adding the opposite. Now we say, hmm, how many times does 3x go into negative x? Or you could say, what's negative x divided by 3x? Or you could say, like I was doing, what times 3x is negative x? And I can see that that's going to be negative 1 third. So if I distribute that, that gives me negative x. And this gives me positive 1 third. Now what we want to do is we want to change the signs to the opposite and add. So those are going to cancel out. And uh, 9 is really like, hmm, 27 thirds minus 1 third is 26 thirds. What do you do with the remainder? See how this degree is degree 0, this is degree 1. This is lower than this, so that's the remainder. We put the remainder over the divisor. So I'm just going to put over here plus 26 thirds over 3x minus 1. Now this is a little